Hello everybody, I'm Miss Jinxie. This is Let's Play Legend Zelda Ocarina Time. I know in the last episode I said that I would meet you outside Longland Ranch, but, um, well, I forgot about this. Hoo-hoo! <laughs> Did you learn an Ocarina song from Zarya? That melody seems to have some mysterious power. There may be some other mysterious songs that like this that you can learn in Hyrule. If you are the ocarina with tea, where a melody is necessary, a musical staff will appear. I recommend that you play a song from you know. I also suggest that you play it even when a score isn't is not displayed, just like this. Hoot 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 hoot. Do you want to hear what I said again? Being a jerk, hovering over the yes button, don't just click yes randomly. Melodies you have learnt will be recorded on the quest status subscreen. You should memorize those melodies. Really annoying, but, um, it's, I don't know his name, it's something like Gay Bora or something, I can't remember it. Um, but, I did actually forget about one thing in the Sacred Meadow, well, not Sacred Meadow, but the Lost Forest, Lost, Lost Woods, which you can do now. And, um, yeah, you just want to follow, you can either go the wrong way, exit, exit Lost Forest and then enter again, or just go the way I'm going. Sorry if I'm going a bit too fast for you, it's just I know this place so well, um, I don't particularly need to go slow. As I say, if you get lost, just exit, go the wrong way, exit the forest, um, enter again, and go straight left from entering the forest. So, um, come here, in the spotlight, get out your cleaner, and play Saria's song. Easy song to play, so yeah. And just by this song, you know Sari's song? We should be friends. Here, take this. And we get yet another piece of heart. Three pieces. For another piece, your life energy will be powered up. Now, I believe there's something you can get by going this way. Now, I'm basically just getting a load of pickups here. Oh, yeah, this will become very important. You see a small mound of soft soil here. That will become very important later on, but not for now. Um, come all the way over here, and you should... Yeah, here. This guy. He's a Deku Scrub salesman. Business Scrub. If you get close to it, it will hide in the grass. Or if you just stay the right distance away, it will shoot a nut at you, and you can fire it back at them. I surrender! To make your quest easier, I can enable you to pick up more Deku sticks, but it'll cost you 40 rupees. Let's make a deal. Okay, fine. I've got 99, I've got the max I can anyway. Now you can pick up many Deku sticks, you can carry up to 20 of them. So, yeah, that is the first Deku stick upgrade. You've got a Deku nut upgrade, and now a Deku stick upgrade. Uh, no, Deku seed upgrade, and now a Deku nut upgrade. Um, I... Wait. You... You previously had Deku Seed Upgrade, and now you've got a Deku Stick Upgrade. There we go. Um, I'm getting confused. Um, but that is all the upgrades you can get for now, I believe, in the Lost Forest. Because I believe the other two... Lost Woods. I believe the other two upgrades you can get, you can't get just yet, because you need a certain item in the future for them. But I could... No. No, I'm pretty sure I'm right with that one. Pretty sure. Um, wow, perfect timing, skipping off. Um, I will now meet you in, um, well, yeah, yeah. I'll meet you just outside Lomon Ranch in, um, the Hyrule Field, which I'm just about to enter now, actually. I'll meet there. Okay, I am now outside Lomon Ranch, and I'm just, yes, I think I got in at night time. Oh, morning. It's still playing nighttime music, and I can't see any horses around, so I'm gonna hope it counted as nighttime still. Because there's four sculptures in here. Yes, it did still count as nighttime. That gold sculpture you cannot get just yet, you need a future item, and it's only available at nighttime. This gold sculpture, if you roll into here, you can get at night or day, and just roll into that tree. You can get right now, as I'm getting it right now. Um, yeah. And right back here, 
I'm slightly doing this out of order. Normally I do this after I've done the story points of Long Run Ranch, but I'm doing this now just because it was night time as I entered the place. Um, so yeah, come all the way over here, round to the back of the race course. And yes, right here, God Sculptula. Has to be night time. And you can collect that. Now, there's another God Sculptula, as I said earlier, in here, but you cannot get it just yet. I will show its location purely because I'm going around there anyway. Um, but right over here, on that wall right over there, you probably. Is it here? Yeah, there. Up there, God Sculptula, you cannot get it just yet because of, um, because you need a certain item. But, you can come in here still and get uh, another item, which is incredibly useful. Um, a little puzzle here, just what you'd expect from a Legend of Zelda game, really, but, yeah. Um, it's, it's just a simple block moving puzzle, really. Nice and simple. So, um, yeah. Okay, so close, come on. Um, the hole in the wall is right behind this block here, the one I'm moving now. Now, you want to move them just like that, so you can go behind them here, and push them this way. As you see, there's the hole in the wall there. Um, I'm just going to push this one in, just because it looks nice in a pattern like that. Um, I have to be exact like that, I don't know why. Just the way my mind runs. Okay, so crawl through here, and you always already see the prize. Piece of heart. And now, you should get your fifth heart container from this. Yep, I did. You complete another heart container. Your maximum life energy is increased. Also heals your health. Well, if you just get a heart piece, it heals your health. Um, so, yeah, it is incredibly useful. If you're low on health, you can get a heart piece and it covers it. But they're quite hard to find, occasionally. <laughs> And Lee, so you may not find one just when you need one. Doesn't matter too much though, really. Now, um, I'm just going to exit Long Long Ranch, then enter again at, at daytime, just a couple of seconds waiting outside would do it, but uh, yeah, I'm going to enter it at daytime again and uh, do the story points now. So I'll see you in a second. Okay, it is now morning, and um, yeah, Long Long Ranch looks quite a bit different at daytime. For the start, there's now horses in the race track, and um, I believe you can do this at night time anyway, but I prefer doing this mini game at daytime. I don't know why, I just do. It might be that you can only do it at daytime, I don't know. But you may want to start off by throwing a couple of chickens just over here, just just so it doesn't confuse you, because uh, you see these three cuckoos here, your objective is to find them three specifically and you've got a certain time limit to do it in. So, just getting rid of a couple of cuckoos is quite helpful. Uh, huh? I'm awake already! What? Well, I'll be, if it ain't the forest kid from the other day. By the way, thanks a lot for waking me up. It took some doing, but I finally got Marlon back in a good mood. So, what are you up to today? Got some free time on your hands, you say? Well, how about a little game? These three cuckoos I have here are special super cuckoos. I'm going to throw these cuckoos into that there gaggle of normal cuckoos. If you can pick out these three special birds that from among the normal cuckoos within the time limit, I'll give you something good. If you can't find them, I win. It'll be ten rupees. Want to play? Yep, I do. You have third seconds. Alright, start looking. Now, you know, if you're at the right angle, you can see two straight away, where they land. Um, got one? That's one of them. Keep on looking, two more. Um, this should be the... Come on. No, not that one. This one. Okay, maybe not. Uh, this one then. Where's it gone? This one? Yeah, here. Um, this one? No. No. This one? No. Where is it? Ah, here. Here we go, yes. Go! Oh, that's the last one. You found them all. Come on over here. So, basically, if you do it quick enough... Well, hey you, you've got time to be one of the world's best cowboys. How would you like to marry Malon? Huh? 
Uh, no, sorry, Link's already got a girlfriend. Her name's Savia. Ha <laughs> ha I was just kidding, just kidding. I think you're a little young for that, aren't you? Ha ha ha. Oh, I'm proud to present to you a sample of our very own Lon Lon Milk. You'll be energised the moment you drink it. After you drink it, you can bring back the bottle and buy a refill any time you want. So, you've got the long, long milk, but more importantly, you've got a bottle. Not empty right now, but it is basically an empty bottle. And, um, yeah, oh, you recover five parts from it, and you, there's two drinks. And, um, you basically pay ten rupees to get the milk and the bottle. So, quite good, if you do it quick enough. If you take two turns to do it, you just went tw spent 20 rupees for it. Yeah, again, it, it's reasonably alright, but 20 rupees can be quite a lot, considering the maximum you can get right now is 99. Um, if you run out of rupees and you just need rupees, there are quite often four here, so you can just, like, get them four, go back in, come back out again, get four, then do it again to get the 10, well, 12 specifically, but you only need 10 for it. Now, um, as I say, in here now, there are horses, and um, they occasionally run out and have a run around the track. But, if you come in here, here's Malon, and a younger looking horse. Hmm. Oh, it's the fairy boy again. I heard that you found my dad. How did you like the castle? Did you see the princess? Hee <laughs> hee. Dad came home in a hurry after you found him. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh yeah, I have to introduce you to my friend, Fairy Boy. She's the horse. Her name is Epona. Isn't she cute? Don't run away from me, Epona. I know I'm not too much of a fan of horses, or any animal for that matter, but I don't mind horses. It seems like Epona is afraid of you, Fairy Boy. My mother composed this song. Isn't it nice? Let's sing together. Now once she has said that, you want to bring out the ocarina, and uh, now you've placed it wrong there, you just want to be right next to her and, oh cute ocarina, are you going to play this song with that ocarina? Okay, this is the song. Yeah again, it, it is Malon's theme I believe, but it's, um, well actually yeah it is, um, well I'll just let it play and see the title. <laughs> No, it's a Pona song. That's it, a Pona song. You've learned a Pona song. Gay baller, I hate you, stupid owl. And now a Pona will follow you. Um, oh, Epona, she's growing fond of you, fairy boy. Yep, and, um, yeah, can't really do anything with Epona just yet, she's too young. We'll have to come back in the future and see if she's grown a bit. Um, so yeah, that's all you can do right now for Long Long Ranch, and if you just let Epona follow you, look, she will follow you slightly. If you just don't move at all from when you play the song, she will literally push you against the gate is that attractive to you. But, um, yeah, that is it for Long Long Ranch, really. And in the next episode, after all this story stuff, we can finally go to Kakariko Village for more, uh, well, not story stuff, but side stuff, side, side quest stuff or something, I don't know. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll just get to Kakariko and get a few things in Kakariko, I suppose, and then just end the episode there. I mean, I don't know what the time's up to, I know it can't take care right now. Um, so yeah, just go up to where Death Mountain is, or look on the map, and it's the top right-hand corner here. And, um, yeah, that's where Kakariko Village is. Although there is a lake separating it. I don't know why there's a lake, but there is. Well, I suppose it makes sense if you look at the geological area of it. But, I'm not looking at that, it's a video game, I don't want to think which kind of stops the whole point of doing an LP. You kind of need to think, to talk, to play the game. Huh. Like, you know, I just said that. <laughs> um, but just cross the bridge and come all the way over here, and this is Kakariko Village. The village, Impa, told you to go uh, quite a while back, actually, now. Um, 
hasn't been too long, I mean, uh, about, I suppose it's been about three quarters of an hour for me in real life, and that's just um, going on for the side quests and getting my notes sorted for the gold sculptures and that sort of thing. So it doesn't take too long. I've come in here at day first, purely because I, well, I want to do this mini game first. Um, Co, there's random cuckoos all over the place. So, just pick this one up, because it's the first one you see, and bring it all the way over here. Now, you can talk to um, the girl over here who wants the cuckoos, or you can just bring them to her anyway. It doesn't practically matter if you talk to her or not. Um, but you just want to throw her cuckoos into the pen to stop them from escaping. Um, yeah, quite simple actually. I believe there's six. Seven, I don't know, something on that number. Um, there's another one over here in this crate. So, yeah, quite simple. Found out, run, run. Come on. Oh, so now you stop. Um, yeah, third cuckoo already. Don't know what else to say really. Picking up cuckoos, thrown over here. But the fourth co, as that's the third I've picked up, four you will want to keep actually, just for a few uh, minutes, as you collect the other cuckoos. Because you need to actually keep a cuckoo outside of the pen, or if you've already thrown the three in the pen, just go into the pen and take one out. Um, you just want to get a cuckoo, as there's one up here for me, and um, you need it to get other cuckoos. It's annoying, but it makes sense once you know where, what it is and where it is. Um, so yeah. Um, okay, my time's up to 20 minutes. I'll probably just get the cuckoos and then uh, stop the episode. Um, yeah. Okay, I just went the long way round, but you want to come up here and drift all the way over here to get the cuckoo. Now you want to throw one cuckoo off get the other on, pick up, and bring this one over to the pen. Now you s still need that cuckoo, you still need another cuckoo to get the other two remaining cuckoos. Um, yeah, two remaining I think. There's only one remaining, can't remember. Um, but you just want to pick this one up, go all the way over here near the windmill. Oh, there's a, oh no, that's a worker. I thought that was a cuckoo just then, that worker. Is a builder, and if you talk to the carpenter near the entrance to this village, you'll get some background story on it. I didn't bother. It's it's not important really. It it's pretty important later on, but not important enough that you have to really worry about it now. So just go over here and be careful. You do not jump down into that hole. If you do, all the cuckoo's positions will be reversed. So all the cuckoos you put into the pen will be back in their original location. Annoying. You do not want to do that. And I don't think there's anything up here, up the ladder, but every time I come here to get the cuckoos, I get the obligation to go up here just in case there is something. I know there isn't, but I just... Oh wait, there is a cuckoo. Wow. I'm so glad I thought to come up here. Um, I honestly forgot there was a cuckoo there. Wow, uh, good thing I did that. Um, so, you can get pretty good um, distance on the cuckoos actually, drifting down. And wow, this cuckoo travelled quite a distance actually. Um, going all the way from the gate over here. Um, so, yeah, one more cuckoo, and that's the one over there. And then you can talk to the girl and get the reward for it. So, where's the cuckoo? Here. Trying to escape. Play like hide and seek with me, will you, Cucko? It will never work. Okay, so, throw the Cucko in the pen and talk to the girl. Thank you for finding my Cuckoos. I have al allergies, so I get goosebumps when I touch them. So she's a Cucko keeper and she's got allergies for them. Wow. For helping me, I'll give you thi this to you. It's fine glass and should be useful. So at least take good care of it. So? Another empty bottle. Um, after you put something in this bottle, set it to see when you want to use the item inside. Um, 
So, yeah, in this episode alone, we've got two of the four empty bottles. Extremely useful. One of the empty bottles, though, ugh, I'm going to hate getting that one. But anyway, in the next episode, we'll continue with Kakariko Village and obtain more gold school shillers, actually. So, I bid you all farewell. Bye.